हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो अबाउट वी आई टी इंटीग्रेटेड एम टेक प्रोग्राम विच इज बेसिकली फाइव ईयर प्रोग्राम एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव ऑल द डिटेल्स अबाउट द काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस एंड इंपॉर्टेंट डेट्स राइट सो बिफोर दैट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट प्रोग्राम्स अवेलेबल इन विद इन डिफरेंट कैंपस राइट सो इफ यू सी द प्रो देर आर डिफरेंट प्रोग्राम्स अवेलेबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंटीग्रेटेड एम टेक कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग इन कोलेबोरेशन विद वर्चूसा दैट इज ओनली अवेलेबल इन वी आई टी आंध्र प्रदेश कैंपस एंड इंटीग्रेटेड एम टेक कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग विद डेटा साइंस इट इज अवेलेबल इन वी आई टी वेल्लोर एज वेल एज वी आई टी चेन्नई कैंपस एंड देर इज समथिंग कॉल इंटीग्रेटेड एम टेक सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग दैट इज अवेलेबल इन वी आई टी वेल्लोर एंड वी आई टी चेन्नई एज वेल एज वी आई टी आंध्र प्रदेश सो दिस इज द कोर्स अवेलेबल इन थ्री कैंपस then there is mtech a artificial intelligence which is only available in vit bhopal and mtech computer science with cyber security only available in vit bhopal and the last one you see vmtech computer science engineering with computational and data sciences that is also available in vit bhopal so different campus has different uh, you know programs and which are in computer domain mostly so first before going anything you should also know the important dates which are provided by velour vit velour and the application is ongoing and from 3rd of february and today is the last day 15th may 2025 thursday is the last day to apply so anybody who has not yet applied this is a large opportunity and after that the counseling will start right so uh result and choice preference will be will be done on 4th 5th and 6th june that are the three days wednesday thursday friday when choice filling will happen and probably on the 4th they will declare the result of all the eligible candidates based on the class 12th marks so admission is not based on any exam it is plus 2 10 plus 2 marks in your pcm subjects which will be counted for your admission purpose so it's all based on that 10 plus 2 exam marks so campus selection program selection you can give by 4th 5th 6th and they will give you the seats or the seat allotment will happen on 10th of june tuesday within 4 days and then there will be last day for full fee payment so there is no advance fee payment in this case all the complete course fee will have to be paid by student on 20th june and after that in july there will be orientation program uh for the students who are for joining the class and the commencement of classes will also start around 15th of july so that is the expected date and now students should also know about apart from the courses and dates what are the fee structure for different programs in different campuses so you can see here for the academic year 25 26 there are five categories earlier last year there were only three categories but this year it is five categories so the students who score excellent marks for a particular branch or they will basically have a seat available in category 1 the further rank students will get category 2 so in category 1 the fee structure is the best 1 lakh 20000 per year so for uh, you know five year program it will be close to 6 lakh rupees that's all for category 2 student it will be 1 lakh 90000 per year so that will be close to 9.5 lakhs for five five year program for category 3 students it will be 2 lakh 30000 per year for category 4 students it will be around 2.75 lakhs per year which is a good amount and for category 5 student just little under 3 lakhs which is around 2.95 lakh rupees per year so it will be close to uh, you know 15 lakhs and there will be a caution deposit at the start of the first year only which student needs to pay so similarly nri or foreigner students should also apply separately through the application link and um, there are seats available for nri students again they, this is the willing vit.ac.in admissions backslash international and integrated fees of the program for them will be like 5600 dollars per year so that is the important update on the dates counseling process etc now once you go for the admission you need to carry good number of documents so this is set of documents which you need to carry and you should watch it clear carefully so that you don't miss it first i am going to talk about the originals so these are the original documents right first is the checklist which is prescribed in the format right for pg right so the checklist has this all the documents so that checklist you should see and and provide details so mark sheet of intermediate which is 10 plus 2 which is the basis of your admission 
ट्रांसफर सर्टिफिकेशन माइग्रेशन सर्टिफिकेट स्कूल कॉलेज लिविंग सर्टिफिकेट ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द इंस्टीट्यूट यू शुड गेट द सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम योर करेंट स्कूल अबाउट ट्रांसफर सर्टिफिकेट माइग्रेशन सर्टिफिकेट टू कॉपीज ऑफ रीसेंस पासपोर्ट साइज कलर फोटोग्राफ देन यू हैव टू फिल योर प्रोफाइल ऑन दिस लिंक स्टूडेंट प्रोफाइल ऑन वी आई वी टी ओ बी ए टी ए डॉट वी आई टी डॉट ए सी डॉट इन बैक स्लैस स्टूडेंट प्रोफाइल सो अगेन दे विल सेंड दिस लिंक टू यू वैन यू गेट एडमिशन डोंट वरी अबाउट दिस एफिडेविट सो देर आर टू एफिडेविट्स वन फॉर स्टूडेंट्स एंड वन फॉर पेरेंट्स basically about the admission so this is the link where you will find the affidavit vit.ac.in backslash files backslash admissions backslash affidavits underscore dot pdf so that pdf is there you will find both the affidavits you need to print and send sign by student and the parent next one is the physical fitness certificate so again this is the there is a template provided by vit vellore on vit.ac.files admissions physical fitness underscore certificate dot pdf you have to download it print it and get to the nearest medical practitioner and they will do do the minimum physical fitness test and they will give you a certificate which needs to be submitted on the original then there is also declaration by the candidate which is also hosted in the same content upload folder where you have to provide you know a a sort of you know declaration and signature and sign then there is a, a undertaking form so which also you need to fill and take a print out most of these are related with rules and regulations of the vit vellor as a declaration and undertaking you and your parent need to sign it and the last one you see on this sheet which original is the conduct certificate again this will be given by your own school they will provide you or how was your conduct in the school time so that are the documents in original now talking about the xerox copy so you should have a copy of your provisional admission letter that will be given you as a pdf download once you get the admission confirm that that provisional admission letter or pal should be brought you have to bring photocopies of your 10th mark sheet you should also bring photocopies of your 12th mark sheet and if you have given any improvement exam then you should also bring the photocopy of that improvement exam and you should get the photocopy of birth certificate photocopy of your hall ticket or admission admit card of class 12 so basically preserve these admit cards and hall tickets so photocopies of that will be required during the admission process and joining the college and the last one you see on this sheet is the uh, you know photocopy also of the migration certificate transfer and school leaving certificate where original and photocopy both are required and in the same video i am also telling you the admission cancellation process or the refund process so everything will be refunded as per the ugc policy so you will get 100% re refund back if you apply up to 30th september safely or up to 31st october with some you know deduction of 1000 rupees so most of the things you will get back your full money and then academic cancellation the process is like uh, you should have a written letter or email from the parents and required for confirmation of cancellation and it has to be submitted to the proctor of the deemed university with the proctor approval student can apply online application for cancellation of admission so then cancellation link will be provided on the vit website main page where you have to you know start your or initiate your online cancellation you have to collect the no due certificate from the office of pg admissions and you have to submit original provisional admission letter what you got from the vellore admission team while paying the fees and then tc will be given only if original migration transfer college certificate is submitted already so those will be returned back you know if you have given in original earlier when taking admission so that's all the details everything i have covered fees admission cancellation costing process etc thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates take care and bye